Oh, here we are again now and it's like no time has passed Gazing out upon the sunset as it sinks into the night Many times it seemed as though a given day might be our last Face to face with certain death, it's somehow coming out alright I don't think that we have any cause to lament But there's quite a lot of thrilling intent Thrilling intent Thrilling intent, thrilling intent. So basically, you're sitting here, and you just to just to like really harp on the scenario. You're sitting here. Your your wounds are being addressed. You just had a rough night. You're probably shaken, but like you're doing you're doing good. You're holding strong, but at the same time, everyone's fussing over you right now. I want to know what's going through Gregor's head in a moment like that. Uh Gregor just kind of doesn't really respond. He's had this conversation before. Um everybody sort of they he he knows that people want to keep him safe, but he also knows that he's really good at keeping himself safe, even if he gets hurt a lot. He's been doing sure. this his whole life and was trained by by people who really knew what they were doing, so he's not gonna he's not gonna argue against it, but just kinda let them tire themselves out. Gregor, you you fall into like because this is this is a dynamic that sort of exists and has existed pretty much for this for this group for a while um you you listen you hear the concern in everyone's voice and you let it settle in and just just like a battle you sort of let it wash over you <laughs> you you calmly navigate your way through and yeah it's 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 a similar experience to always but at hmm. the same time you're you're thinking back, and you got hurt in that fight, so no one else did. Well, to the best of your abilities, you took those hits so that other people didn't, and you know what? Fuck, that's good enough for you. Um, and... I took a hit too, but I don't mind. <laughs> this... I took a hit too, and I very much mind. Um... <laughs> this this feeling sort of settles over you, and uh, as, as the conversation falls into that lull that you're sort of used to, and uh, that's rapidly punctuated by someone else entering the room. Hmm. <sighs> okay, um, I looks across the room. Hmm, one mm-hmm. of the chairs is missing a leg. Did the raccoon get to that? Yes, it was the raccoon. <laughs> mm, uh, real shame. No, I'm not going to lie to my husband, no. That's why I was doing it. <laughs> no, well, I, listen, I'm not going to do, no, dear, I... Snap one of the legs off so that Gregor could bite down on it while I cauterize some wounds. Hmm. Understandable. Do you want it back? Mm, yes, actually. I wipe the drool off of it. Yes, actually. Okay. I mean, you can you can sand that bad boy, and that'll yes, be can, that'll be fine. I can quickly repurpose this into another chair. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, like an wow. entire other chair? Uh, well. In a way, in a manner of speaking, yes, because uh, mm. every single one of these objects, he's like picking up the chair, thinking about something uh, not important right now, actually. Um, he puts it up, he picks it up and he puts okay. it on top of this chest. It relates to those uh, various, um, how do I put this? Uh, the, the, the remains of those creatures that you provided for me? The sinful leavings of, of the angel we killed? A fascinating way to put it. Very poetic, yes. Thank you. So, uh, I have, I have an idea. Um, could you all come to my lab, actually? That's where I'm sleeping. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Of course. Um, <laughs> as, as everyone's walking, uh, Mercy's going to give an arm to, to Gregor. Thank you. I think Marcus is, would help as well, actually. Mercy just looks over to Gregor. I'm sorry if we were pushy. I just, I worry. That's okay. Lots of people yeah, me worry. Too. I worry. <laughs> yeah, but we worry about you, Gregor, and that's yeah. like, I I know that you're not open to armor and stuff, and that honestly you're probably better at not getting hurt without armor. I guess that's that's what I said. <laughs> I guess what I should do is try and become try and become better at taking hits myself, or just ending fights before any of us have to take significant hits. Yeah, dodging. That's what I've found works. 
Dodging is good. And I'm honestly, wondering if there's some sort of magic that I might be able to start using a bit more to just help protect all of my friends. Have you ever thought of a gun? <laughs> <laughs> that is not magic. <laughs> there is there is also the spell Mage Armor, and uh, besides, um, she looks down at herself, look at me, I'm a goddamn hypocrite telling you to wear armor. <laughs> <laughs> I also... Well, your shoulder is pretty protected. Well, but <laughs> if you recall, she, she points the, sh like, lifts the shoulder a bit, and you see that's the wound she took from you. It's not oh. great, is it? Oh. I see. <laughs> I mean, that's reasonable, though, without, without, like, if you were to wear armor, you would cover up those sick abs. <laughs> I mean, honestly, that's a bit, listen, if you've Marcus, got it. she's married. Uh, what? It's a, I'm, not hit, I'm not hitting on her, I'm appreciating the musculature. Listen, yeah. besides... <laughs> if you've got it flaunted, and I like to yes. listen, have you seen my husband? I like to show off what I've got, <laughs> <laughs> and you should. And Harlock, mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not hitting on Mercy. <laughs> Marcus, you say as you move away. I want to know. I want to know what's going on in your head now, Marcus. What you just said back there about ending fights mm -hmm. before my friends ever got hurt, maybe working on some protective magic, or no. the most audacious thing of them all back there. Maybe I could learn how to take hits better. <laughs> how new of a thought is this? <laughs> Has Marcus <laughs> attempted <sighs> this before? I am genuinely curious. <laughs> I think he's definitely tried, like, I think he's thinking back to times when he attempted stamina training in order to, like, you know, just up his constitution a little bit, maybe, like, maybe snag a few extra hit points or something, and that was obviously disastrous and did not end up working well whatsoever. All right, um, Kier, I want you to punch me. <laughs> as hard as you can, right in the gut. <laughs> maybe slightly off-center. In the gut. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that like it was yesterday. Coincidentally, you don't remember the rest of that day, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize you could be knocked unconscious by getting punched in the stomach, but there you have it. <laughs> so, um, in addition to that, he's just kind of, like, running through some of the magic that he knows, considering, uh trying out mage armor that uh as mercy just recommended and also remembering the um back in crowhenge when he was able mm. to use those uh those flowers to yeah. kind of give give each of his teammates a like a single a single hit like soaking shield um mm. Excellent. and okay. he's and, and and thinking about like I, I think that was, like, a little bit taxing for him, but maybe there's, like, a more minor version of that he can make happen. So I think that's most of what is going on in his head. He just he just doesn't want to see his friends get hurt. Excellent. Yeah, no, you, you have a lot in common with Gregor in that regard, and it sucks to see Gregor hurt, and just the same, from Gregor's perspective, it sucks to see you hurt, so yeah. it seems like you're all on the same page as far <laughs> as that goes. It's true, it's just that Gregor, Gregor like, is so much better at taking hits, and therefore takes so many more hits, <laughs> and I can't help but feel a little guilty about that. <laughs> mm. Yeah, you, know, you feel yeah. that rattling around in the old brain cage. Mm-hmm. And you, uh, you continue on to Faria's lab. Thank you for inter indulging me. All right. Well, I think what I'll do, too, is once we start chatting with Faria, I'll get us some cookies and some Ooh. milk, because I think everyone's earned that. Yes! It's not even, we haven't even had dinner yet. This is, this is amazing. We absolutely <laughs> we did had dinner. dinner. How hard did you get? Right. Whoops. <laughs> okay, yeah, sorry. I took a bit of a nap and I woke up disoriented. <laughs> See, that's why you shouldn't take naps. Bullshit. Naps are good. <laughs> naps, naps are, are good, good and pure. <laughs> Mercy spins around. I'm gonna tuck you in, lip mister. She'll, she'll fucking do it, dude. <laughs> Actually, uh, <laughs> listen, no, this is this is for all of you. You all need to go to bed. I will not tolerate right now? this. No uh, not now. We have things to do, but okay, she points good. at Harlock. Yeah, I don't think we're going to bed. I think we're going to floor. Well, semantics. In any case, at some point, you will close your eyes and fall unconscious. That is end of discussion. And to be honest, it's going to probably take a week for me to detox off of the drugs that I'm on. <laughs> it's going to be extremely painful for me. 
But I do look forward to the sweet embrace of sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I We will talk to Faria. I'm sure he has something that could help. Why do you talk about it like you're dying? <laughs> mm-hmm. I could only be so lucky. <laughs> wow! Are you... Wait, whoa, 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 wait, Harlock, are you okay? No, we've been over this. <laughs> I guess we have been over this, and that's a dumb question, but still. <laughs> ah. Kids, hey, y'all want a hug? No. I do. <laughs> group hug. My what? shoulder's still dislocated. Marcus pulls everyone into a group hug, but Ow. avoids said Harlock's no. shoulder. <laughs> Ow. Oh, <laughs> Gregor, he's he's kind of hover hugging you. <laughs> okay, it's a group hover hug somehow. It's <laughs> yeah. kind of awkward. I just i I want you guys to be doing okay because I seem to have bumped into you at like the lowest points, and I just want to help, and I really don't know how. <laughs> you think this is my lowest point? Hold <laughs> 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 yeah, Mercy, you, you really do help. You've helped us an amazing amount so far. I just, I want to do more. You're doing a lot, and you can, you can do more. Like as we, as we continue, as we continue ad- attempting this, uh, this crazy bullshit that we're doing. Yeah, you just literally thoroughly, took wounds from my body. Yeah, that's pretty nuts. I know. That is amazing and extremely selfless. So. Please don't feel bad. And please don't do it again. I can <laughs> take any physical wound, but right now you folks are hurting in the heart and in the mind, and I want to help that too. Well, the cookies and milk would probably be a decent remedy for it. <sighs> yeah, I like cookies. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> then we'll get and, some and warm milk? I mean, that's just soothing right there. Also, if you could get me a pillow so I can jam my arm back in. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, uh, honey, please tell me you have some good news. <laughs> uh, y- yes, actually, um, why- Oh, thank God. Why does everybody, Yay. uh, Eli casts his eyes across the room. Why do you all look so, uh, you look sad. <laughs> yeah. Takes a step in. You should be proud. You protected my home. You protected my family. Good work, the four of you. Thank you. I was doing pretty good until I remembered that I live a f- life of combat. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, now probably isn't the time, but have you ever considered living, <laughs> leaving a life like that behind? <laughs> he says walking over here. Yeah, I considered academia, but then I was born in free arc. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> he hops up on the table and turns around. Well, but you're not in free arc anymore, therefore... I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm just saying you would be an amazing a- academic, Harlock. I really think that as a like as a researcher, you would probably break more ground than exists. Yeah, as long as I don't have to talk to students. <laughs> Freya... <laughs> well, yeah, that's why you make sure that you're a research alchemist. Freya sits up at, uh, on the table. Well, I also lived a life. I lived a life where my alchemy was purposed and repurposed for the uses of combat primarily, but I've been enjoying the life of a researcher actually for quite a little bit now, and See? it's been nice. Uh, uh, certain uh, current circumstances notwithstanding. <laughs> Emotions in the direction of the tower. <laughs> <laughs> um, that actually sounds like a plan. Perhaps I will create some children and then become a researcher. <laughs> uh- Okay. Mm. okay, that that real casual mention of creating life has me a bit unsettled. Not gonna lie. Well, it's not the first time I've created life. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I know you did homunculus too, but like saying I'm just gonna whip up a couple of kids is really like that. Po- <laughs> it's like you're you're stirring a cauldron full of child goop, and then you like pour it into molds, and then it's these creepy children. Mm. Hold on, wait. Where can I purchase child goop? Yeah. Uh... Furia, Furia leans over to you, Harlock. Don't worry, I completely understand, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, it's so good to have somebody who does. <laughs> Mercy looks over. Believe me, I completely understand. <laughs> if I could create life, I would. It'd be so useful. Have a, mm. a few other me's running around, helping me fight. <laughs> no, but that, that's, that's how you get evil Gregor. Don't you understand? 
Well, I'd be raising them to be good. Well, right, but you, despite your best efforts, you like one of those Gregor clones is going to end up being your evil twin. That's just th- those are the rules. Wait, you can't give birth to your evil twin? <laughs> no, I'm not. It's it's basically a law of genetic science that That would be your evil son. <laughs> yeah, and and they grow a goatee and they do all of the things you would do except evil. I've read this in a bunch of books. <laughs> And I've, wrote a few. I've, I've, yeah, I've, I've written this in a bunch of books also, coincidentally. <laughs> While this is going on, Mercy just leans over. She focuses really deeply again, gives Faria a kiss on the cheek. I'm getting us milk and cookies, so I'll be right back, dear. <laughs> Aw. Uh, he, he smiles warmly at you and then just goes back to, like, there is a split second of he's focusing very intently on the topic of evil doppelgangers, and then <laughs> that expression just completely softens, his face lights up, and then it continues on, he's back to, like, furrowed brow looking at you, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're done, at least for the moment, um, he, guess. he hops up. Thanks to your discoveries, especially recently, I have You're been welcome. able to, um, well, I think I've been able to discover at least part of the true nature of these creatures. Ooh. Hmm. Really? But, T- y- please do tell. Yes, um, he walks over and, uh, like, actually pulls out a book, walks, uh, walks back over, lays it out on the table. <sighs> Here's the frustrating part. So, I mentioned mere moments ago that I used to be involved with, um, the combat applications of alchemy. I was involved as a consultant in the military, which is where I met my wife. Um, I personally requested to not be involved with the Tannhauser Military's Alchemical Warfare Division, but I was made at least tangentially aware of their various experiments and the efforts that they were putting forward. That... I remember hearing some nasty rumors about some of that. Yes, um, they... they got up to all sorts of reprehensible things. Something that, um, my wife and I fought back against as best we could. Um, the creation of chimeras, amongst other things. He shakes his head. Um... Mm. In this case, the material that that creature is made out of most closely resembles a substance that they were working on. Um, I believe they called it Celestial Silver. He he flips through the notebook and ends it on a certain page, and Harlock, you recognize this. These are alchemical schematics. It's... A lot of them are hypotheticals. This book is clearly out of date, but yeah, these are the blueprints for a substance called Celestial Silver. He, um, he turns around and looks at you. It's supposed to be a substance that could be used to rapidly create different objects. Um, it, in terms of wartime applications, it would be used to rapidly construct a bridge through difficult terrain, or it would be used to, on the spot, create a scouting tower. It, or perhaps in this situation, rapidly create constructs that can kill us. Exactly, he says, pointing to you. That's and very bad. Here is the bad news, though. Wait, that that's not the bad news? <laughs> no, actually. That's just the news. That's the... Okay, I, all right, I, I okay. Think that's... I think that's quite good news, actually. We know what these Do things you? are. Yes. <laughs> well, but we also now know that these things are capable of self-replicating, and, well, I guess we knew that already. <laughs> well, um. here's the other thing. In terms of the physiology of these creatures, it seems that most of them are not actually constructed out of celestial silver. The hmm. one that you encountered tonight is, though... Which is why it melted after we killed it. Which is why it melted. It likely lost its form. Yes! But then what are what are the remaining what are the, the remaining like uh angels made out of? You have retrieved for me a wide variety of different things for me to study. The sand itself is rather odd. Uh he looks over at Mercy coming back with the milk and cookies, smiles oh, again. Thank you, Mercy. 
She um, she just smiles. Oh, don't mind me. Keep going, dear. I'm very <laughs> curious. No, no, no. It's actually very important that I... And he completely restarts the explanation <laughs> from scratch. <laughs> re-explains it, catches you up. Everyone has milk and cookies. <laughs> you watch that as he explains it with such fervor and interest. She is just watching just so softly. And it's just, <laughs> just enraptured seeing her husband get excited about this. Aww. So, the problem... Back to the problem. Yes, the problem. As far as I was aware, Celestial Silver was never completed. They couldn't... Hmm. There was there was something missing from the formula. It would eventually lose its form and collapse. It was unstable. It, it caused problems. Ultimately, what's the point of building a watchtower if the center will eventually just crumble down and throw people to their deaths? What's the point of building a bridge if it's just going to melt... Land in the water and poison the water supply. So trick bridge, trick an enemy ar- army from to in like go, to go across it, and then they fall, and then you get to poison their people. That is okay. That's bad, actually. Now, that's that, we, bad. now that we play that out, yeah. <laughs> yes. So you're starting to understand why the project was not considered completed. At least the last I heard of it. Do you know what ingredient they were missing? That, I mean, that seems like a pretty <sighs> big thing to overlook, though. I, I guess... think I know. <laughs> really. <laughs> He turns around and looks at Gregor. It was missing a brain. Hmm. Huh. See, a bridge and a watchtower, they're not alive. They can't think. But this thing, it thought, and it had a brain. It was alive. Hmm. But was the brain also made out of the... Uh, out of the celestial silver? Oh. Hmm. Hadn't thought of that. <laughs> No, well, Gregor, this is a really interesting line of thought, actually. Way he to actually, go. He, takes, he takes a few steps back and actually just starts to, like, rapidly pace back and forth. I love it when he does this. Mm. Is he in, like, pondering mm. mode? Mm-hmm. Rapid fire ponder strut? He, we call them <laughs> ponder wanders. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> he, that is so cute! <laughs> he stops... Snaps his fingers and then ru- rushes over to you, Gregor, in a blur. Claps a hand on either shoulder. Ow. You. Oh, gentle, gentle, <laughs> gentle, please. Oh, um, brilliant. Gentle. <laughs> Thank you. And I agree. <laughs> he, he takes a step back. If a will was somehow transmuted into this thing, um, maybe it could retain its structure or reset its structure. As I said, it had difficulty maintaining shape, especially over time. But given given a repeat order or some sort of consciousness, perhaps it could it could be used to create some sort of a body or a vessel. I don't know how you would place a Hold on. <laughs> now Harlock starts pacing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is exciting. I didn't I didn't understand what you meant by a brain until you started talking about a will. Isn't that kind of related to what the Asimars have? What did you call them? Uh, do you mean oaths? Oh, oaths? yeah, yeah. A purpose? Oath. Hmm. Hmm. Could it be celestial silver given purpose? They don't seem particularly smart, but they seem at least capable of fulfilling what they're supposed to do. It might also tie back into the fact that we saw those scriptures that just said Oathbreaker, which is a curious statement. The tower wasn't always yeah. here. Well, I'm also wondering, because it's pretty clear that the foot soldiers don't all have their own consciousness, so do you think it could be that there's one central consciousness that is controlling them. masterminding things back at the tower, constructing these, and pulling like a strings? He claps hive. you on the shoulder! It, both of you Ow. on the shoulders! <laughs> uh, Arlock, Arlock and Marcus, you are both brilliant! Hmm. I know. Oh, I agree. Thank you. Mercy looks at Faria. And if there was a central consciousness, and seeing as the military would be involved, one of the first things that they would think of as a will to develop would be develop an army. Ooh. Yes. But yes. My that question is, is how, do you de- how do you develop and imprint a consciousness onto this? We do not know. Do you use, do you use somebody else's? Do you... Oh, were they experimenting on prisoners? That's bleak. Automated warfare. He shrugs. I frankly have no idea, and that Hmm. is the bit of bad news. I have only dealt with an incomplete version of Celestial Silver to begin with. You've oh, you've you've used it. Yes, uh, experimented with it. He raises his hands. I have been allowed to see it. Hmm. 
And this bears many similar qualities. I can sit down and try to isolate out the various components of this, but that will take a while. Probably he, like, tries to ballpark something in his head. A week and a half, two weeks. Um, here is the other problem. Even if I do manage to isolate out exactly what makes this, unless I know the formula used to create it, I won't necessarily know how it works the way it does. Just you don't you don't think that it. this used the original formula formulation that you shared with us? He shakes his head. It couldn't, hmm. especially if it carries a will. So 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 they. It it sounds like they ended up refining and perfecting the formula. He puts up a hand precisely. You can't just like put a brain in it. I don't. Do you have. No. You're an alchemist. Do you have brains in jars? No, of course No, of course well, not. How, could, how do you not have brains in jars? I left mine at home. <laughs> a strange idea. Um, I obviously, dear, I'm not very good with magic, but um, when we went to the tower, we actually got to a part of the palace, and there was the very large stone. I forget what it's called, but you can normally imprint um, words hmm. and things in it. W could that work as a base? Oh, hmm. One of those... Oh, hmm. He, he thinks on that. Perhaps that could work. I've only seen them store complicated records, though, not Something as... Not a full consciousness? Oh, yes, or... I suppose that you might not oh. need a full, complete consciousness as long as you have some of the rudiments. I mean, couldn't you just place a single order as simple as develop an army, um, conquer, uh, things like and, that? And have a consciousness build from that seed? I mean, that's I mean, if you, if you think of the stone as a means to store information... The information doesn't need to necessarily just be text. It can be a code for something that can be carried out, like Mercy just said. Hmm. Here's the problem. There is a difference between information and action, because you can, while you can put in a series of records, such as uh, crop yield during a season, you can't... The list of the cutest dogs of a given year. Yes, uh, you cannot. <laughs> he goes on as if not fully recognizing what you're saying. <laughs> Putting in something as complicated as battle strategy, as as the ability to successfully track, sense, etc., would would be they would have needed to similarly advance that technology far beyond what we have. He like but he's as, trailing as off. As Mercy suggested, what if they? Made the u made use of a consciousness that already existed, perhaps one that had military training and experience. He he thinks about that. That has horrific implications. It really, really does. I I don't want that to be true, but part of me thinks it. Uh, we here's, we can't ignore it. Here's the thing, though, and the issue that we face now, regardless of how they did it. The military has, or perhaps these creatures have, perfected something that they were working towards before the fall happened. Hmm. I don't know how. And the bigger issue is, I probably will never know how, unless they are consulted themselves. He looks around the room. Are you suggesting what I assume? He is. He gets a. He gets a. Like, he kind of winces for a second. He, <laughs> yes, I. Unfortunately, believe I am. Well, don't keep us hanging. I think the only way to figure out exactly what these creatures are, or at very, at the very least, what your pursuer is, you have to go speak with the military. Another mm -hmm. fact. Yes. Yes. Oh, and I'm positively ecstatic at the chance to chat with them. Mm. That sounds absolutely miserable, but I guess it's necessary. Yeah, Mercedes, weren't you part of the military? Mm. Mm -hmm. I was one of their generals. Oh, so you you should just, like, get along with them, and you can order them to tell us. Well, mm. since you split off, are they still a fam? No, they dislike me immensely, yeah, and I hate I them. I was so. worried about that. Huh. The reason being is that when this all started, I had suggested many 
steps to ensuring the safety of our people, but mm. they decided instead to take all of the military force and move into the mountains into a fortress, taking supplies right. and numbers just and really you, you mentioned they, they just kind of hold up to themselves right precisely they caring about their, anyone else that's despicable it's, it's their own little civilization at this point and they've doomed Ugh. everyone else which is why i developed and of course with my husband's assistance the reforged oh. legion an attempt to try and just bring it back together in any form or manner but oh now i get the name. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> uh, Legion, because there's a lot of them. <laughs> Freya, Freya puts a hand up. Also, similarly, the, uh... That is the location of the Chimeric Alchemy Labs. Ah. Uh, I Wait, wouldn't... are they still working on Celestial Silver there? He shrugs. I couldn't tell you. It seems like they have been. Was, if... it, was it, like, ever officially abandoned at any he, point while you were still involved he he nods yes i believe development ended at some point so it's it's strange to see it in possession of those creatures from the tower hmm. when it is a military secret i wouldn't be surprised if they reopened the book on that one you, i mean yeah. this new military force shows up and makes them look like fools of course the first thing they're going to do is well maybe we should use super dangerous experimental things to show them what's what oh, like we have anything man, else to i lose. wish you i wish you weren't as correct as you definitely are <laughs> listen <laughs> you worked in the military as long as i did you see some bullshit <laughs> <sighs> so fuck i don't i don't exactly wish I don't wish to send you out on a dangerous errand going and speaking with the military about the nature of the research of Celestial Silver and how it relates to the angels in the tower. I can perfectly reasonably try to isolate it myself. However, I believe if you want the truth behind the clue that you just offered to me, mm -hmm. they are the only people capable of answering. I think we need to yeah. talk to these people. I and think that makes more sense than having you have to figure it out. And there's a lot of stuff that so. you have to figure out as well. Hmm. Well, you... and with any luck, we'll be able to additionally uh, get some information that might make analyzing all of this easier for you. <sighs> he kind of sighs. I wish I was making more progress on the physical bodies of um, the other ones, but... This... You just told us so much from <laughs> a relatively small sample of goo. <laughs> <laughs> this... Dear, you, you are doing a magnificent job. Please don't sell yes. yourself short. What Mercy said. He just, he, he just, like, almost hangs his head for a moment. This pursuer of yours is, frustratingly, the most progress I've made in quite some time. I don't understand what about its nature separates it from the rest, but I believe it could be the clue required to crack this entire thing open, so I hate to well, send you back out into danger, but... No, we somebody needs to go, and I think that we're probably just about the best people to give it a shot. Uh, Mercy takes Faria's hands and just kind of like rubs her thumb on the, the back <laughs> of his hands. Dear, mm. I think this is a wonderful idea. I know it will be dangerous, but I have wondrous companions to assist me. And besides, if this does lead us to some excellent information, it means that we can end this sooner and I can come home and stay home. So I think this is worth it. He looks up at you. I agree. And he softly smiles and then just quietly nods. We don't have to go tonight, do we? Oh God! No! Hell no! <laughs> no! No! no. You, for, we need for, to. We could do with a little bit of rest. I think. I was looking forward to the withdrawal sweats. <laughs> oh, Harlock! 